For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Behold, the plagues are sent, and shall not return again, until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled, and shall not be put out, till it consume the foundation of the earth. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Howl ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. What do you guess? One of your issues with the Bible is that you, do you feel like you have contradictions? Yes, lots of different interpretations. Well, there, there's actually no uh, different interpretations of the Bible. Give me the book of first, uh, Second Peter chapter 1, start at verse 20 first. Then give me the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse number 15. Because I'm going to show you that the Bible is actually our book. Our, our past, present, and our future. It was only written by our people for our people, and I'm going to prove it to you. Watch Second this. Peter 1 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So, according to regardless of what people say, there's no private interpretation to the Bible. It's really they're playing when you not, study. I use the wrong word. It's not interpretation. It's different versions that you put out, like St. James and all that stuff like that. So, why you're talking different versions of the Bible? Yeah, so who's like, have you read a different, the different. Well, let me let me explain that to you. So first, give, give me the book of I, uh, Isaiah chapter twenty-eight, start at verse uh, eleven. Let me uh, see. Let's start off with that first, and then I'm gonna respond on it. Because if we, 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 uh, that's because a lot of people about to say that, not knowing that that's actually a fallacy. That there's the, uh, the Bible uh, is written. Uh, if we don't have the original manuscript or we don't have the original uh, Bible, we're going to sit there and deal with that. Because remember, Bible just means a collection of books. So in order for you to have a collection of books, it's books compiled together. So for one, you're not going to have the uh, original autograph. That's the proper term. The original sit there. So everything takes place in the Bible. Where did it happen at? Huh? Where did it happen at? Where did it happen at? Yeah, everything that took place in the Bible. I mean, it happened in different areas. Yeah. I mean, you got African, you got Roman, you got, I mean, you know, it depends on what part of the Bible you're talking about. So, most of it is from Africa when they talk about everything that happened in Jerusalem, everything is in the Middle East, which is the African period. Right? So, Their people because black people came from the original. Jewish people are black originally. Well, well, we, black, we're right? not, we're not, so, no, no, big king, right? We're so not black though. We, we're Israelites. Right. Could but, the term black but, but, kind of compression their body is black though. They yeah, black they, 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 they have they have dark skin complexion. I could teach you, you spots over there right now because I've been there a lot of times, man. Right. And you go to the original Jewish people and stuff over there and shit like that, they still like, they just look down on and stuff like that over there, right? Uh -huh. But they don't practice what we practice in the Bible. They practice Muslim stuff, right? Uh -huh. Now read their stuff. It's not completely different, but it's a little bit different from what we learn, from what they learn. From well, watch this. Their watch this right there. Isaiah right. 20, 11. But with stammering lips so with stammer, and, a, and another tongue will he speak to this people. So first and foremost, I want to say that, I brought that out to say this. The Most High God, because back then we spoke Hebrew, yeah, Paleo-Hebrew. Yeah. And then, you know, our people started learning Greek. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, but the majority of the time where our people was at, they have to learn that language. So, with that being said and done, and given the time, the, the, uh, the era that we live in now, the most I knew that he would have to sit there speak to us through another language, yeah. which is how we, what we speak now, English, which is an a, 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 a abstract language. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But, in doing so, he had to have the Bible written, uh, which he used, uh, King James, uh, authorized the Bible to be written in the English language. And curse shall not be in the field. Now who will sit there in the cotton uh, plantations? 
sugar cane plantations. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was our people, right? That was our ancestors, our forefathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters. Right here. Yeah. Right here, that's what I was from. Yeah. Even the Native Americans, they had to deal with that. The Chinese man can't read that in the scripture and say, I may identify with them. Yeah. The East Indian man can't read that and say, I identify with them. Verse 32. How you doing, sir? Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, See that? and there shall be no might in thine hand. So, my last name is Johnson. That's not sitting there, that's not my uh, my true name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a plan, but that's from my plantation owner, from my ancestors, that, right. that, that was carried on down. Yeah. 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 So, during the time of child slavery, a lot of people was out there doing uh, doing the slave work. They would have their children beside them, picking the cotton, sugar cane, or whatnot. Or our children would be in the shacks that we were supposed to sleep in. So by my last name being Johnson, I'm gonna say I'm at the Johnson Plantation, the Brown Plantation. We see this slide through. Mr. Brown, be like, look, Johnson, Junior, sit there. Just, I did just open up his own plantation. I need some slaves. They would take our children and the shacks on by our side and give them to another plantation owner. And there will be nothing that you can do about it. And if you attempted to sit to get your child back, what would they do? If you try to fight to get your child back, they put you death on the spot, right? Let's fast forward to modern times. If you whoop your child right now, somebody record it. Who's knocking on your door? CPS, right? Your child don't go to school. Get they college, get they uh, ed education that they want you to hire children to learn. CPS knock on the door. With the police. Why your child not coming to the our, our, our school uh, foundation? There's nothing you can do about it once they take your child. Give me another one. 37. And you shall become an astonishment. You shall become an astonishment. A proverb and a byword so among all nations where the little Lord shall lead thee. Astonishment, man, is not at all. Uh, people, all these other nations look at us, man, and be like, these are the children of the Most High God. Our men walking around with their pants at the back of their damn knees. Our sisters sit there, we will stop at a damn light. They hopping out. We got their own booty cutters on, shaking the ass in front of every witch and every damn body. They say again too, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got sisters that sit there walking around. We got dog on their coats, hanging off their dog on shoulders with a got there going 45 on their side like they're a nigga. Yeah. A proverb, a proverb is a wild, is a wise saying. Sit there, if you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a what? Put it in a book. Oh, okay, yeah. Black niggas love chicken. Love watermelon. A byword. A byword is anything given outside our God given name. Like you see they say that you was black. You're not black, brother. The pants you got on is black. You a dark brother, you but we different shades of brown. Yeah. We're not black or African American. Did you know the term African American didn't come into play until 1985 under the uh terms of Jesse Jackson? My elders older than the term to the African American. Huh? Never heard that word until it came to America. See that? So who the hell were we before then? You get what I'm saying? The Bible explains all this to our people. Like I said before, they, said before to you, this is our book. Our past, present, and our future. Keep going, Elm. Verse 47. Because you serve not the Lord your God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, right? therefore shalt thou serve thy enemy. Most God said we have to serve our enemies now. Watch this. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. He's sitting against us. Because real thing about it. Can't know what's in that nation of people. Ain't no nation of people saying that. They're not strong than that. Some of them, there had to be a higher power involved to put us in that lower state in order for them to sit there and deal with us like that. That's right. Watch this. Therefore shalt thou serve God, thine enemy. The most I can say, we will have to serve our enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee. He sent against us. In hunger. In hunger. And like, you like tropical smoothie, right? I like tropical smoothie. But our people don't own these establishments. You can franchise in, yeah. but you know who's sitting in the CEO office. Yeah, you're right. you point that thing, hey, listen, I need this done, I need that done. Harris Teeter, Walmart, all them type of stuff. The mall, we don't own nothing like that. Keep going. And in thirst. And in thirst, waterfalls freely out of the sky, comes out of the natural springs and wells. They put it in the bottom, they charge it for it. What about water to sit? You got to pay water bill to wash your ass, wash your clothes. We don't own none of that. Keep going. And in nakedness. We picked $7 trillion worth of doggone cotton and we don't own no textile mills. I can't come to you and be like, brother, I need some raw materials. I need some silk, I need some linen, and I need some cotton. With a little bit of satin on the side. You know, I'm trying to make something sweet for my rib. I can't get I can't get that from you. 
the so-called white man and them own and the other nations own those uh, those establishments, not our people. Even when their brothers try to say, well, I got my own restaurant, I grow my own food. Well, who the hell you get the supplies for to sit there to get that? Where you get your seed from? Where you get your uh, uh, tobacco from? The excavator to dig into the ground. You got it one way or another. You got to go to the enemy to get whatever the hell you want. There's no way around it. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. You see them want to get a driver's license, college, college education, house loan, car loan. Doggone, you want to sit around, you want to get a building. You got to go to them for it. You should sit there, you want to get your social security card, you got to go to social services. Yeah. You want to get your birth certificate, you got to hit the DMV. You don't own no DMV. I don't know none of my brothers that own a DMV. If you do, point me in his direction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep going. And hey, he shall daughter. put a yoke of iron. Upon thy neck, he said, Do what? And he shall put, put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Look at this. We the ones that had that yoke of iron on that neck. This one right here, this is the one they used to see that made us all jingle bells. Yeah, when yeah. I see there, when we, that's where jingle bells come from. Now, let me see the go in depth a little bit about this. There's more than one reason he did it. Of course, because we were slaves. But another reason he put these on our necks, especially this one right here, um, I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay. is because you know we can get up to running about 15 miles per hour. We fast. Yeah. Let me ask you something. If you was running running from this uh, slave master, is you can run down a straight path on a dirt road, or you cut between the trees? Okay. Now, watch this. You hitting 15 miles per hour, you cut between the trees, the tree catches that dog on, jump wise on your neck, what's going to happen? Because they sit there, it's going to snap your neck. You're gone. <laughs> You run in one minute, gunning, yeah. and that thing you know you at the pearly gates talking to the Most High Father. Cause they rather have a dead nigga than a free nigga. That's how they care. You know what I'm saying? You put it in your combined on it on Google, we come up. Right. But they do it in our face, and our people so blind they don't want to accept it. They want to see their cleave to these other nations. They want to hold on to these other nations. When they, when our people actually dive into these scriptures and sit there and come into the understanding that this is our book, they get mad because they can't slay, save master. They want master to come into the kingdom with us. Why the hell do you want your worst enemy That's right. to come into the kingdom of you when you meant to have peace? That's peace right. Like God said, it ain't gonna be no peace until the ass is until the ass be killed off. That's right. We got peace. I said, I spell that sage. I know there's some good stuff going on down here. Get your flyer, brother. Just going through. We got get your, get your flyer, brother. That's good shit, right? Break brother. You be blessed out here, be safe, King. Alright, brother? But yeah, this is and they get mad because they can't save Master, man. That's a thing, and we trying to get our people out of that mindset. You understand? And to show our people to see who we really are according to the scriptures. Now, give me uh 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And verse number 54, Bring that out. and it reads, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. Now, we used to say they'd be loving towards one another. Think about the time I see there uh, MLK, Malcolm X. You know, we, was like, we, we knew who the enemy was. Like the brothers sit there and say, quite often, man, we locked arms together. We sit there and stood in front of them damn big ass water hoses, getting they gunning us down. They sicking the dogs on our men and our women, ripping they, their breasts off. Right now, men genitalia all, but we knew who the, we had uh, in common, who the enemy was. We knew this. We was in one mind together. Watch this. Watch what the Most High God say. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, right? His eye shall be evil toward his brother. His what? His eye shall be evil toward his brother. His what? His, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. brother. Black on black violence, they call it. A brother sit there and make mistakes. You make a mistake and stuff, stuff when a brother shoot, he up and on you. You look at a brother, you might say, hey, that brother got a nice outfit. You look at that outfit like, damn, that ain't sweet. And he looking at you like, what's good, my nigga? You, you trying to do something, you know what I'm saying? You know how, they, you know how people get. And then they ready to kill you. What about our sisters? Our sisters are just as worse. They see another sister that got something on, look presentable. Oh, she thinks she's better. They want to start a, start an argument. Or they might walk past and, and you know, in the, in, the, in, the bar, in the club and spill something on purpose. But, but, oh shit, excuse me, said that to me too. And the whole time she ain't even attention to doing it. That's our people that's doing that. You wanna see the Chinese man warming up on God Dog on, on uh, Shang Ling Street, Thompson, and they ain't ready to fight each other? You wanna see that old man on Trusting? They, because they, they know who they are. Our people, when you read this, like I said, it identifies with the Israelites. 
Keep going. And toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the wife of his, of his bosom. Domestic violence. On a broader scale, now, yeah, other nations are doing it here and there. But on a broader scale, it's our women and our women that's fighting all the damn time. Especially the sisters. The sisters want that damn child support. They find a reason. See, they get mad with the man. See, they want to whip up on him. Men get fed up with his shorty. He, he might think she doing something that she might not be doing. He smacking her up, going upside her head. That's how people doing that on a broader scale. He means and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. And toward the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. Once again, on a broader scale, our men is the ones known for leaving their children. As the elders say, hey, son, I'm going to pass it on to you. You know, I'm going to make like Roman, get the hell on this yeah. <laughs> as the elders say. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Our men is doing that. The women too. Our women too. They hate their children. They hate their sons. You look just like your damn daddy. Right. And then they cut the hell up. Verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground. I woman was so precious, man. They didn't even want to be used to set their feet on the ground, man. They didn't even want to be used to being carried, man. Yeah. What? For delicateness and tenderness. Right. Her eye shall be evil toward her husband yeah. of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter. And toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet. And toward the children which she shall bear. See that? Who's known for going to the damn abortion clinics? See that? All this is in the scriptures for us. To see. All we have to do is really open up and really examine the matter like we're supposed to. See, our people have been conditioned, especially through Christianity, that's sitting there that this book is made for everybody. Or all you have to do is believe. But it's more than just believing. They always sit there saying that God is about love. And the most like God is the man of war as well. He loved. He loved his people though. But at the end of the day, he's a man of war. That's right. The most like God, man, he get bloody, man. And can't nobody see him. Ain't nobody stopping what he bring for. Put it up, put it up in the book of Isaiah 11. Read that right quick. And then we'll go back to the church. Uh, Isaiah uh, 55 and verse 11. Bring it out. So shall my word be that. Goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. It shall not what? It shall, it shall not, not return, return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. See that? So whatever most I gotta say is gonna get done. Ain't no stopping. Right. And that's a fact. I haven't seen nobody able to sit and come close to stopping them yet, and I'm not. I never will. Deuteronomy. 28, 68. Let me ask you a question right quick. How did we get over here to the Americas? Watch this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. In Egypt. When they hear Egypt, it's synonymous with slavery. So when they hear Egypt, they're not thinking the physical land Egypt. When they, when they, hear, when they hear Egypt, they're thinking of slavery. And I'm approving. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord your God. The Lord your God. Which have brought, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Out of what? Out, Out of the, the house, house of bondage. bondage. See that? So we're gonna replace Egypt with slavery to give a more, uh, 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 give you more understanding on what is how he's talking, right? Bring it Deuteronomy twenty-eight sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring you into slavery again, right? With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. Said it, brother. Transatlantic slave trade. Yep. Keep going. By the way, where am I speak unto thee? Thou shalt see it no more again. We will not see our homeland again. If I was to ask you what's our homeland, most people say they don't know. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, that one answer. Verse 68 again. Bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again. Right. With ships. With what? With ships. Yeah. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. We will not see our homeland again. Well, our people have not seen our homeland as a collective. Some people may have went back to because our homeland is Jerusalem. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? But as a collective, as a nation, we have not seen our homeland. Our people don't even know that Jerusalem is their homeland. You know, a lot of them say, I'm American. America is my homeland. You're an American damn lie. This is not my hell, this is not our city homeland. Galatians chapter 4. Verse 26. Bring it out. But Jerusalem 
which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. Let's further clarify that Jerusalem is our homeland. Verse 68, Deuteronomy 28, 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. Right. By the way, whatever I spake unto thee, right. thou shalt see it no more again. Right. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. As soon as you got from slave ships, you'll be sold to your enemies. They will see, they tell you, as soon as you got from slave ships, they shave off the beard, land you up a lark, call you a boy, and put your slave oxygen blocks. A woman, sit there with them, they dress up, have their skin and their legs showing. That woman concealed themselves. They sit there wore dresses. That woman didn't wear pants during that time, man. I even when I see look at pictures of my uh, my grandmothers. My grandmothers didn't wear no damn pants. They all wore dresses. Keep going. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Right. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. And buy you means redeem in the Hebrew. So because in the days of old, if a, uh, if a brother was sitting there in slavery, I can sit there and come out of pocket with a lump sum and bring my brother back. But the most I see that ass all the way over here, and there nobody can sit there and take us back to our homeland. So if breaking God's laws got us put into captivity, what must we do to get out of captivity? What must we do though? If breaking his laws got us kicked out of home, what must we do to go back home? That's right. That's, right. that's, that's the whole thing, brother. That's why we out here. To let our people know who we are and tell people, our people to come back to our customs. What we originally are supposed to be doing. Because we are supposed to be a light unto the earth. Showing everybody else how to carry themselves. Not to be homosexuals. That's not right. Not men to be effeminate. Not to see they be out here partaking in these unholy feats. That's Quit right. Thanksgiving. What was that about? You know the history on Thanksgiving. I know you know. Yeah. Of our Native American brothers and sisters. But our people honor that. Like that's a good like that's like that's a good thing. Man, that's American. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's American. So there's a we don't, we don't celebrate none of this stuff. We don't, we don't even celebrate Easter. You know, we, don't right. we, we don't need We don't we don't right. do that either. God. We the Bible that gave us our customs that we supposed to follow. And like I said, we out here for our people, man. So if God was talking to the Israelites, who must we be? That's See right. See that? All praise to the most high. I told you, you get once I was there, you want you gotta be brought out, you'll be see. It's talking about our people. The book of Mark, chapter 1, verse number 15. Bring it up. Uh, and say, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe in the gospel.